Patrick Willis has just been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Congratulations to Patrick Willis. Frankly, he should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. And he wasn't because he retired at 30, which is his prerogative. I mean, a guy like Frank Gore will get into the Hall of Fame because of his longevity, as he should. But Patrick Willis is different than, Pat than Frank Gore. Patrick Willis was the best linebacker in football every year he was in the NFL. That's his legacy. In fact, he's the best linebacker I've ever seen play. He played for Mike Singletary, Mike Nolan, Jim Harbaugh. And Jim Harbaugh once said that Patrick Willis is the Willie Mays of linebackers, which is the best description I've ever heard of Patrick Willis. It says it all. Because Willie Mays, if you watch, I mean, if you follow baseball, he was the ultimate five-tool player. He could do everything a baseball player is supposed to be able to do, and he could do it at an extremely high level. Now it's Patrick Willis as a linebacker, a five-tool linebacker, sideline to sideline, an elite level, coverage at an elite level, making plays in the backfield, blitzing, other things, tackling. Anyway, the best linebacker I ever saw, the best player on a great defense, defenses that had Devaro Bowman, Justin Smith, Alden Smith, Deshaun Goldson, Dante Whitner, Ahmad Brooks, Ray McDonald, Patrick Willis was the best player on that team. And you know what? They all knew it. I've never seen a player get more respect from their peers and their teammates than Patrick Willis. Like Fred Warner gets a ton of respect. Trent Williams gets a ton of respect but not like Patrick Willis. Patrick Willis was the ultimate natural, didn't talk a lot, but he could run faster than anyone at 240 pounds that I've ever seen. He was more violent than any linebacker I've ever seen. And he was just the nicest, quietest, most unassuming guy. So, sorry I had to wait for this. Congratulations, better late than never. Enjoy it, Patrick. <laughs>